It really just puts you in a position to be the most informed realtor possible. Hey everybody, Jay Pitts here, broker owner at Remax Premier Properties, and I'm back for another episode of JTP University. Today, I'm going to talk about four pieces of technology that every independent real estate agent should know about. It's a lot to get through in a short period of time, so let's jump right in. Number one, canva.com, C-A-N-V-A, Dot com. Now, you may be asking yourself, what do I need this for, Jay? Shouldn't I just get some kind of flyer in a box that's provided to me by my brokerage or you know, something that I should pay a graphic designer to use? Every real estate agent in this made-for-social-media real estate market needs to have a handle on different aspect ratios, different you know, sizes of graphics, some of them still, some of them motion-based. You need to be able to produce your own content and put it out quickly. Canva has an amazing web interface. They also have a pretty good iOS, um, iOS app that you can create you know, social media kind of graphics on the fly. There's several others out there, but Canva is a must have and you need to get the pro version because you can upload your colors, you can save your you know, brand guides and all of the things that you need to go and do real estate on the fly. Number two, Trello, Monday, or Asana.com. Any of these will do, will suffice. They're all amazing. They are task management platforms that allow you for free, mind you, they do have premium versions that you can pay for, but usually on this case, the free version will work. You can do task lists, you can do uh, you know, different actions based on different other people's actions. You can create within your team, whether it's just you or you have several assistants, you can create a task framework that gets you through a transaction. We all know that real estate transactions have you know, it almost seemingly infinitely small tasks that get you from the contract to the closing table. Everybody needs to know what everybody else is doing. There needs to be a record of it, and you need to make sure that that is the case so nothing falls through the cracks. Again, that is Asana, Monday, or Trello.com. All three are very, very good task management platforms. Number three, Intellius.com. Now, we all know that real estate is a people business. That's Intellius, I-N-T-E-L-I-U-S.com. Intellius is a reverse lookup service. We talk to somebody in the grocery line that we haven't seen for 20 years. We don't know where they live. We don't know their home address. We may know what part of town. We don't have their cell phone number. The, you know, they, they don't really, they're not really active on social media. DMs don't work. You're not friends with them, what have you, but you know a name. With Intellius.com, with reasonable reliability, it's not 100%, but with reasonable reliability, you can take a person's name, plug it into their database, and it will yield you search results for cell phone numbers, home addresses, things of that nature that is going to allow you to zero in on how to make contact with prospects in your database. If you're a you know, a prospector at heart, and you don't like working relationships, you like doing FISBOs, expireds, door knocking, etc. this can be an even more invaluable resource for you because it helps you verify people's identities. You know, if you have somebody sign in at your open house and you just forgot to get their number or they left out a digit or you call it and the number's disconnected and you're trying to reach somebody after the fact, another reason it's an invaluable resource, Intellius.com. Com. Last but not least, and probably most robust on today's list, is RPR. That is N A R R P R. Dot com. The, take it and go to that website. This is a free service provided by the National Association of Realtors. It is a nationwide database of property sales. It's across county lines. It's across municipalities. It's across state lines. It gives you access to a ton of public record data, not to mention it's backfed by the MLS data that kind of overrides and kind of compiles on a property basis. It can tell you what somebody sold for, when they sold, when the property transferred before the last transfer. It can tell you property tax assessments. It can tell you, you know, different school rankings. It can give you all kinds of data 
but probably the most valuable in my experience is it has an automated valuation engine, which is something that you can use to estimate property value to give yourself a starting point when you're doing you know, a comparable market analysis, a CMA before you go meet with a seller. It gives you a tool that you can throw out and kind of fish out home values from a seller and what they're thinking so that you can more appropriately handle those price list price objections. It really just puts you in a position to be the most informed realtor possible. It's a free resource, so it's definitely worth looking into. You can, you can geek out on it. They do whole classes at the NAR convention on how to use you know, RPR at a high level. There are YouTube videos. There's lots of resources out that can get you access you know, to, to the finer details of how to become a power user. But just surface level use is going to be what most agents need. Anyway, again, top four things in real estate, canva.com, uh, Trello Monday, Asana, Intellius.com, National Association of Realtors, RPR resource. Definitely familiarize yourself with those pieces of software. We'll be back soon for another episode of JTP University. I'm your host, Jay Pitts, broker owner at Remax Premier Properties. See you soon.